Hello guys, welcome to Medical Maniac. What is multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children? Multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children is an inflammation that affects more than one organ in children. It occurs to be a delayed reaction that occurs in a small number of children with COVID-19. It can occur during or after the onset of COVID infection. It is most often seen about a month after the onset of COVID infection. Around the mid 2020s, pediatricians in the UK noticed an unusual illness among the children. Children were admitted to pediatric intensive care units, critically ill with an unusual syndrome. This includes sore throat, headache, particularly abdominal pain and vomiting. Some of them had rash and conjunctivitis. These problems progressed rapidly to shock and organ dysfunction. Along with that, the children had remarkably similar laboratory experience in that they had marked elevation of C-reactive protein, neutrophils, D-dimers and declined lymphocytes. Some of them had marked elevation of troponin and brain natriuretic peptides, resulting in cardiac injury. The cases were systematically studied and placed on a database. These were grouped and concluded that the children affected with coronavirus tend to develop multi-system inflammatory syndrome. With today's knowledge, it is not possible to predict to whom it will come to. Our knowledge of this disease today is incomplete. It can affect perfectly healthy children and those who have not had any specific health problems before. Commonly, it is found only in people infected with the COVID virus. What is MISA? In children below 20 years get affected with elevated symptoms, it is called as MISC. While if the symptoms are for people above the age of 20, it is termed as MISA. The commonly seen symptoms are prolonged fever, rashes in the body, diarrhea, abdominal pain, vomiting, prolonged tiredness, fast heart palpitations, difficulty in breathing, redness of eyes, inflammation of lips and tongue, inflammation with redness of inner arms and legs, headache and nausea. These symptoms can be related to other diseases. Also, the patient may not experience all the symptoms. Studies say that multisystem inflammatory syndrome has great similarities to Kawasaki disease seen in children. So when you should seek medical help? If you experience any of the symptoms which I'll describe to you, you should seek proper medical care as soon as possible. Few of the symptoms are intense stomach pain, heaviness in breathing, chest pain, heaviness in chest, the blue color in the tips of nails, lips, tongue. This is due to low oxygen availability in the body. Skin becoming pale or gray. This will be due to shock caused by low blood pressure. Confusion of mind, nausea. If you are delayed with the timely treatment, it may result in more complications like organ failure and result in death. It can also cause permanent defects in the heart and blood vessels. It is still unknown the exact reason for multi-system inflammatory syndrome. Statistics show that it is seen in people after two weeks to three months after COVID infection. It is expected that our immune system reacts vigorously when exposed to some components of the virus. And this may manifest in some people as multi-system inflammatory syndrome. Usually it is seen mostly in children between 3 to 12. So what are the precautions? The primary precautionary measure is protecting ourselves from COVID. Always keep following COVID protocols. So what are the tests or procedures? do you need? The doctor's examination determines whether laboratory tests are needed or not. Usually, tests for other causes of fever like blood, urine culture, etc. should be done. X-ray examination of chest, echocardiography to know the function of the heart, ultrasound examination of abdomen, few other tests such as CRP and D-dimer to determine the immune system is overactive or underactive, antibody testing, to see if COVID has come before. So what is the treatment? If the disease is detected before it becomes very serious, it can be treated and cured very effectively. Drugs such as steroid drugs, IV immunoglobulin, 
IV fluids and heparin are used to treat this disease. Treatment may be needed to support the function of other organs. It may be necessary to rest for the period prescribed by the doctors as it may affect the heart. Even if the disease is cured, further tests will be required as prescribed by the doctors. People need an awareness of this disease as it can be effectively treated and cured if detected early. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. We'll meet you on another video of Medical Maniac. Bye.